<laughs> you can just see his head in the corner, like right here. <laughs> My name's Luke. My name's Michael. And today we're going to be talking about transistors. And the random guy in the corner. You may be asking yourself, what is a transistor? So what a transistor is, is it'll actually take a, the current of a variable voltage supply, which is C over here, and it'll actually amplify it to your emitter and get an amplified current from your emitter. B is a constant voltage supply. C is going to be your variable voltage supply. E is going to be your output of your variable voltage supply multiplied by the transistor gain. That might be a little bit hard to understand. What we can actually do is look at it in a little bit different context. So let's say you had a water tower represented by this circle on a stick. You have a constant pressure coming from your water tower and let's say C is water pressure that you can vary from like your house. So right here, let's say we have a faucet. This faucet we can obviously raise and lower the pressure. Vary the output of E multiplied by some gain provided by the total system. Next thing that we're gonna wanna do is do this in a simulation. So here we have our circuit that we built in LT Spice. We have our two volt voltage supplies right here and our transistor in the middle. Here's our five volt constant power supply which is coming into the transistor and into our collector and then we have our variable voltage supply over here. So if we wanted to see a schematic of all these, basically what we have is our variable voltage source going all the way down to five volts. Now the reason that this is a negative voltage is because you can see our current is pointed down. That's just how LT Spice set it up. Here we have a graph compared to the two. So if we wanted to find our gain, we can pull up some components for each of the values, which we can do just by clicking on them. So at our maximum value for our input on our variable voltage source, what we get is 408.88 microamps. If we wanted to get a maximum output on our current, Again, I max that out over here, and we get a current of 41.29 milliamps. Now, if we do the conversion of that, that's actually 41,300 microamps. So again, to find our gain, what we're gonna do, and conveniently have a calculator right here, is we're gonna take our output divided by our input, 41,300 divided by 408.88, get a gain of 101 across our transistor. Our next step is to do this in the real world. All right, so if we wanted to just get the transistor gain and just measure what we should be getting, we actually switch our DMM over to NPN right here. We then put the corresponding prongs into their corrective spots, and we're gonna be shooting for about 174 for the gain. We also found that the resistor changes its value if depending on heat so if I put my fingers over it it should slowly increase. Here's how we have a power supply set up. We have a variable 10 volts over here and a fixed 5 volts. Here's our circuit right here where we have our fixed power coming in through the red which ends up going to our collector in the transistor. So right here is where we have the glory of the transistor. This is actually going to be amplified before this resistor on our output or our E post to the transistor. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to measure our input current, which is actually measured before the transistor over here, and our output current, which is measured after the transistor. So as our voltage is increased, we see our output amplified compared to our input current. So if you remember back to the beginning of our video, we have a constant five volt power supply going to our collector over in the circuit here. And we're actually maxed out at five. So we see a current of 0.2 milliamps compared to a current of 41.6 milliamps. The 0.2 is our input and the 41.6 is our output. So we use this fancy calculator. We go 41.6 divided by 0.2. Our output is 208 times what our input was. The real question is, is how does a transistor work in a real world application? So what we're actually gonna try and do is hook up a fan motor to it and run it off of that. All right, so what we ended up doing is using the same grounding system as we did in the prior circuit. We actually have a bigger transistor here to make a higher output to be able to run this electric motor right here. Like always, as we turn the power on and the voltage up, we actually see 
that the electric motor will gain RPMs. All right, so that's a little bit about transistors. We hope that you get a basic understanding from that video. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.